Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my melting basket for the upcoming week. I do my melting baskets Monday through Sunday. I melt in really four different places in my house. I have my office, which is coffee, my open concept, I have my bedroom and ensuite bath, and then I have my basement. So let's get started. So the first basket is going to be my basement. My basement eats scents. Of course, we have the air going on down there, a dehumidifier. So there's a lot of stuff going on and I, I struggle. So I melt a lot of laundry. So the first thing I'm gonna finish up is a custom from Broadway Wax that I made. It was called Tad and it's laundromat, snuggle and sweet on Paris. And I basically have one day, I have three warmers down there two in the kind of a big living room down there and then there's four bedrooms along the side so i have two in the living room and then i do have one in my daughter's room i just won't melt or i'll find something else to throw in there one of these other things that day but this will be one day and i'll get rid of this this was i think one of my first customs I ever made was from Broadway Wax, and this really performs well down there. It, it performs well everywhere. I think I did six laundry blends on this order. They were all characters from the movie um, The Family Stone, so one of my family's favorites. So I have this. It's fantastic, and I will order more of that. And then... I'm going to finish up this Better Homes and Gardens line, line dried linen. I have two cubes. I may throw this in actually my daughter's bedroom the day I do that in the living room. But this uh, performed really well down there. I melted it one day last week. I want to finish this. I'm not sure I'm a big uh, of the a fan of the Aveda type, but this is from Sassy Girl Aroma, and it is the Champure Aveda type. I got this in a D-stash. You can tell it's one of her older labels, so I don't really know how old this is. Super, super strong, so I have high hopes that it'll do well down there. It's really strong. So, I'm going to use that, and then I have three of these three packs which will be perfect. These are very big, so I can put uh, one in each warmer. This, these are from Waxidents. And the first one is Fresh from the Wash, which is Gain Type, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Lavender. And these were poured in January. So I have that one. I have another one in Snuggle Bum, which is Bum Bum, Snuggle Baby. Well, Bum Bum plus Snuggle Baby Type. I'm not sure what that is, Snuggle Baby. I said a detergent, it's obviously probably detergent. Okay. And then the last one is Fluffy Towels, which is the fresh scent of clean towels, warm and fluffy straight from the dryer. These were all poured in January. So these will be perfect down there. And laundry just seems to do the best. So I'm hoping to get a lot, get through a lot down there. I tend to sometimes, uh, especially when I'm working during the day, I don't go into the basement very much. So I forget to go down and turn pots on. Okay, and then I have my basket for my bedroom bath. I've got to get through some candles. I did some videos earlier in the week. I'm getting a lot more candles coming in that I'm getting rid of. So I had these two. I had two fresh spring mornings in my melting basket for last week. I did not get to them. I am going to get to them uh, this week. So, and I think that I'm just going to use these until they're gone. I have literally no room to store anything else. Um, I decided to do, let's see, what do we got here? I decided to do a banana day in my bedroom. So I have some banana samples, uh, flying monkeys, which is banana, red berries, and vanilla milkshake from closet full of wax. This is amazing. This smells like summer scoop and banana. I have banana nut bread, Chocolate chip cookie dough waffle cone from L3. Banana salted caramel brown sugar pretzel from L3. And banana nut bread chocolate chip cookie dough waffle cone. Okay, so I have two of those. So this will be 
this will be a two day, two dayer with those samples. And I'm gonna put on my uh, banana bunk cake candle from Bath and Body. That will be a great combo in my bedroom bath. I'm gonna do a pistachio day if need be. Uh, I have to, I have two warmers in my bedroom, one in the ensuite bath. So I have pistachio pudding cake poured in April from Sassy Wax Melts. Pistachio pudding cake from Kay's. And pistachio pudding cake zucchini bread from L3. So there is a day. And I think it, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need more. So then I'm gonna do a flannel day. So I have a flannel candle from Bath and Body. So I'm gonna use that along with the samples that are all dupes or smell so similar to flannel. So I have two of these red cedar from Chicks and Wicks. I have Mare of Halloween Town, which is, I don't know the exact scent notes, but it smells just like flannel to me. And I have Paris Nights from, is this the pharmacist's daughter with this round? It smells just like flannel as well. So those will all go great. And to be honest with you, if I need more, this flannel candle will scent my entire bedroom bath. It will blow me out. So I can always just do that. I just don't, I don't like to pull more than I'm gonna use. So I usually pull less. I hate to put things back. I hate to put things back not finished. So that's why my melting baskets aren't usually as big as everybody else. I don't like to give myself that many choices. Okay, so now my melting basket for the rest of the house, the open concept. I'm gonna do a sea salt and avocado brick from Scentsy. I have never melted sea salt and avocado and I think it smells wonderful, so I'm gonna try that. I'm going to jump into my Harper James wax. I have a lot of Harper James and I haven't got to melt any of it. I have coastal waters. That is ozone, jasmine, marine water, cedar wood, and dark amber. I love this. I, I love everything on cold that I've gotten from her. And so I am really, really hoping that everything works great. I found, well, that's pretty new, isn't it? Hmm. I'm going to do one day uh, apple blossom from Destination Wax, along with apple blossom and freesia from Better Homes and Gardens because one is not enough, so I need them both. Um, I'm gonna try to get through my bum bum type, boom boom type, how, whatever you wanna call it. Like I said, this is from a D stash. I have no idea how old this is. It's still super strong on cold. I've got a bunch of samples here to do a kind of a beachy day, a coconutty day. Uh, Tahitian Breeze from Hayden Rowe, Dreaming of Tahiti from Sassy Girl. I have Sippin' Pina Coladas, Coladas from uh, Sassy Wax Melt. I have Sunbathing Venice Peach Bellini, Copper Coconut from Sassy Wax Melt. I have Mahalo Coconut. Hibiscus pineapple, coconut lemongrass, coconut co coconuts for coconuts, half of a butt naked. I have mango sorbet cashmere cedar bum bum and raspberry jam bum bum vanilla ice cream. So I smelled all these. I think they'll all uh, go together quite well. And there's a few more here than I will need, but this gives me, if I do need some for another room, if something isn't performing at all, I don't usually change my wax out during the day and my wax doesn't stay on all night. We turn everything off um, before we go to bed. Like that. Then I wanted to do a pumpkin day. I have really been in the mood for fall. This is loud, isn't it? I apologize. 
So I have Closet Full Wax, Milkshake, Pumpkin, Pecan Waffle, Sugar Cookie Royale, Rice Krispie Treat. And I think that might be a scoopable. Uh, pumpkin Apple Preserves from Destination Wax. Pumpkin Beer, which is Bourbon Butterscotch Pumpkin Cupcake Whipped Cream from Closet Full of Wax. Pumpkin Puff Cookie from Destination Wax. Frosted Pumpkin from The Bathing Garden. Pumpkin Peanut Brittle White Elephant Exchange. I love White Elephant Exchange. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Warm Vanilla Sugar Palo Santo. Pumpkin Carvings Danish Butter Cookies from L3. Pumpkin Seeds and Oud Amber Noir and Tonka Bean from L3. And Harvest Gathering, which has a pumpkin uh, feel to it from Delectable Plat. So, I am, I've just really been craving fall and fall scents. And I looked and I've got so much summer and fresh wax. I really, I really need to get to that. Okay, and then I have uh, a day for doing strawberry. So I thought I would pick a strawberry day. Strawberry cookies, fresh picked strawberries, gourmet cookies, caramel cookie from Sassy Wax Melts. Strawberry pound cake, pecan, pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie dough from Closet Full of Wax. If These Dolls Could Talk, which is strawberry cotton candy and strawberry white cake from L3. I have a Johnny and June, uh, which is jelly donuts, sweet bakery dough, and cotton candy frosting from Vince Cheek. I really want to melt that one. I have Edge of 17, which is sweet strawberry confetti cake from Vintage Chic, and those have February pour dates. I have Strawberry Pound Cake, Cheesecake, Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Strawberry Jam from Closet Full of Wax, Candy Man, which is Lollipops, Gummy Bears, and Orange Soda Pop, which does not apply here, so I threw that in the wrong one. Unless I smelled everything and thought, Strawberry pie, which is strawberry pound cake, sweet and creamy, and graham crackers from Closet Full of Wax. And that's it. Those somehow got in the wrong. So, this will be enough to do my open concept. And we'll see what it does. Okay, and then last, I have my coffee. So, I pulled... Coffee Epic Day from Destination Wax. This was poured in November, so I really need to get through this. It's a blend of rich, dark coffee, cinnamon, clove, and pink peppercorns. It's very spicy to me. And very bitter at the same time. So I picked Bear Claws from Destination Wax, which also has a November pour date to mix in. Because I do like bakery with the coffee. So I have that. And then I picked regular coffee from K's. This I got in November as well. So this is just a, it's not spicy. It's just coffee. It just, and it doesn't smell as bitter either. But it's older, so I wanna, I wanna get through that. And then I pulled a maple butter to um, also blend where I thought I needed. And then I pulled some coffee samples so I have cookie dough frappe from Closet Full of Wax, Coffee House Coffee Bean Orange Chiffon Cake from L3, Sugar Beans from Closet Full of Wax, Hazelnut Coffee from K's, Tristan's Toffee Coffee from K's. I really can't wait to see what that one's like. And Mac Apple Zucchini Bread Espresso. So I have a lot of samples. Um, my sample bin is, there's no room left in it. So that's why I've been pulling all this, these samples. Because I can't move to a bigger bin because it's already a really large bin. So I just, when I can find a bunch of scents that fit together, 
and I can do a bunch of them at one time, I'm gonna do it because I really need to get, get through those. So hopefully I get through most of these because I, I have made a dent in it. So I'm gonna do one more video tonight. I'm gonna do my empties and talk about some things that I melted this week. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Talk to you soon.